Welcome everyone. Anime the Woo here as a recording of this. 8 a.m. Friday, December 3rd, 2021. Cool, crisp, about 34, 35 degrees. Now it will warm up a little bit as the day progresses, as the sun starts to rise. I am in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And when in Albuquerque, you think of Bugs Bunny taking a left, wrong left turn at Albuquerque. But I didn't. I made it right into the center of the starting point of my and others Breaking Bad filming locations. A topic which has been covered hundreds, if not multiple hundreds of times in great detail through website posts, episode by episode. There are lots of nooks and crannies of each and every season. I am gonna put my spin on it. This is gonna be a little bit different. I'm not gonna have a bunch of screen capture, screen grabs, things like that, nor clips. And I'm not gonna to go to all the multiple hundreds of different locations, but I'm gonna to go to at least a dozen key points that if you've seen the series might remember. And I'm also, ooh, I thought maybe that was the, the RV pulling down here. I'm inviting you to join me. Shall you? Now the reason I walked over here was because there is an RV tour that picks up from this spot right here. And it looks very similar to Heisenberg's, the one that him and Jesse worked out of the front of. However, after doing a little research on the tour itself, is that it? Nope, that's a truck. I thought maybe Heisenberg was pulling around the corner I realized that you do not really get out of the RV except for one or two different occasions. Now it is so early, it's 8 a.m. right now, the store doesn't open until 9.30, but you can see the store is highly recommended by its owner. They have a, a shirt here, an appropriate t-shirt as well. I have decided, flip this around, I have decided to kind of do my own little tour. And I will be going along with my sister and her husband who are currently visiting Albuquerque as well. So it works out well that we are both here, her family and myself at the same time. They have seen the show. They are interested in the location. So we are just gonna do our own tour. Also, the RV tour that you could pay for ago would be pretty neat, but they show movie clips, there is music, and you have to, you have to film a lot of it out the window. And I kinda wanna see the spots with my own eyes. I do stop at a couple a couple spots, but a lot of it, they just kind of grew. They cover a lot of ground. They're probably not going to cover as much ground as they do. So join me as I go on my own little adventure. My sister and her husband. I was hoping that that RV, I looked at a satellite view when I, when I kind of was like searching this landscape and the RV on satellite view is parked right here, but it's missing. It's probably out in the desert. You know how they, you know how they're getting down in the desert out there. I should also mention that I'm not gonna be covering anything from El Camino or Better Call Saul, even though I do enjoy both, especially Better Call Saul. I think it is a great follow-up prequel to Breaking Bad. Look at these. But there's just way too much to cover. And my normal, my normal mode of research would be to hit every single spot, which is well over 100 or 200 different places. You know, every street corner, every angle, every homestead. But as I say, I'm not gonna, not gonna be doing that just going to focus on the Breaking Bad spots and not really going to show a lot of, you know, a lot of screen grabs because I figure most people have seen it and there might even be some spoilers in this as well. So if you haven't seen the show, I really enjoy it. And I also enjoy looking at these very unique plants. I really like the way the show is filmed. It kind of has an 80s style, the filmmaking of it. The acting is great and the writing, incredible. Starting off here at the dog house. See that pup with the the hot dogs dangling from his mouth. Now I'm going off a lot of this off of memory. I have seen the entire show from start to finish episode one all the way to the very end, completely through on one full occasion. And then I've seen bits and pieces of different seasons throughout the course of the last few years and certain episodes that I really love. I've seen, you know, five or six times each, but I have seen every episode, but it's been a couple years. So a lot of this I'm going off of of memory. Now, if I recall, there were some picnic tables over here and Jesse ended up having a, a bag delivered that he would utilize 
later on in the show. It's pretty cool, this neon here. I mean, obviously it's not on at the moment, but you can see how it's like an old school neon right here. And they have a car hop service. Here's the menu. They are not open quite yet because it is pretty early still. But they have floats and malts. And I, like I said, I'm not going to go into too much details on Better Call Saul, but this was also used in that as well. Yeah. And from what I've heard and what I read, very popular place even before the popularity of the series. Very well known around Albuquerque. Yeah, picnic, picnic tables. Right in here. There goes the city bus. Up. Your reputation precedes you, sir. My reputation? <laughs> you brought a dog to the dog house. Well, of course we did. So are you guys doing the Breaking Bad tour? That's what I'm doing. We're, we're doing the Visit My Sister tour. I'm visiting my, my vehicle, sister. My, my RV broke down tour. Okay. And, uh, and so now we get to spend a little extra time. In, in are you locals? Uh, we live in Seattle. My oh, so. sister lives. Yeah. Okay, so you're down here visiting. Yes. My sister just so happens to be here as well. <laughs> awesome. Okay, back back on camera. Okay, You're back on camera, dog. <laughs> what's the, what's your dog's name? Miss Trixie Delight. All right, Trixie. All right, Trixie. We're gonna walk over to Jesse Pinkman's house. Is Jesse that okay? Pinkman. All right. You're gonna walk over there? I think it's only like a couple blocks away. Can we walk with you? If you want. That would be terrific. Well, then let's. This is about a third of a mile walk. Probably should have drove over, but it's a nice nice out so far. This is it, right here on the corner of 16th Street. All looks very familiar. They have their car parked in front. Now this building here is where the RV would have been stationed. And there's quite a few scenes that took place right in here. Now since the, since the production, they built this garage. But this was completely open back then. You know, trees all still look the same. And the archway over here. One thing I really love is how Jesse ends up purchasing this house and his parents do not realize that. It's kind of a good scene where his parents are packing up stuff and they're kind of telling him, what are you doing here? The new owners are gonna be showing up at any moment. And then he has the keys at the door and they realize that he's the new owner. He bought his house that he got kicked out of. Right here on this street corner. Such an awesome looking home. Now I'm gonna stay on the sidewalks. You know, all public space here. Walking across. It's always nice meeting up with people too. They're over there next to the tree from out of town. Said hi over at the doghouse and walked over. Yeah, look at this. I'm not gonna disturb any neighbors or disturb any of the, the residents. Everyone should when you visit places, have respect and stay on the, the public sidewalks, not go up into the yards and driveways, but just stand and admire from afar and doing this tour. That is so cool. Look at that. Gonna go to a couple of Pinkman's homesteads. Also the apartment that he lived next to Jane go by there too. Hopefully that still exists. Pretty cool house, right? I love it. You give, just, I wonder if Jesse Peekman's still home. I'm not sure, but I'll hop over that fence if the security wasn't right there. You don't want to hop over the fence. Oh. That's frowned upon. Oh. Oh, they have security. What, you see security? Right there. Where? Oh, right there. Yeah, there's a security. That's true. I wouldn't really jump the fence. I know. I don't have that kind of strength anyway. You don't have that kind of strength? I don't have that athletic ability. <laughs> you don't want to jump over the fence anyway. Someone lives here. Oh, that's true. I, like I was saying, you want to stay on the sidewalks and on the street because that's allowed. You don't want to be trouncing on someone's property. Maybe but a party be going on or something? Jesse Pinkman has a lot of parties yeah. in here. 
it. It's like the rest of everyone over here doesn't want to get too close. Are you afraid of Jesse Pinkman over here? Is that why you guys don't want to get closer? You don't know what's going on? This is Pinkman's house right here. So the RV, good morning. And the RV would have been right over here where this, good morning. Had, it would have been right over there. Broken down, we could have parked it there for your for your shot. But our <laughs> RV's in the shop. Uh, it's a pretty yeah. nice house. It is a very nice house. I could live there. <laughs> All right, made it back the few blocks, a little farther walk than I thought it was going to be, but made it back over to the doghouse. Going to be driving over to the the other spots. I couldn't get this angle earlier because there was a truck parked right here. But one last view of the doghouse before moving on. And always nice to meet up with people on the road, obviously. Random but cool. Now over on Park Avenue Southwest to where Tuco's hideout was. It's where the explosion took place. It is a downtown Java Joe's. It's a coffee shop right there. But this was Tuco's hideout. And up there are those windows is where the explosion took place. I remember the, I think it was like an air conditioner unit fell out of the top of the window. And there was a mural painted on the side and the mural's still there. Yeah, check that out. Oh yeah, it's the same mural. Now from what I had read, it was an accident that that big unit, the, the air conditioner unit fell out of the side of the window, but it's, it's the same. There's a little bit of graffiti on the mural, but the, the painting still looks the same where Walt, after he had done all the damage, walked directly past here, walked down this section, and the camera kind of looked back at the building. Here's a photo of the explosion there. Looks to be they removed the Java sign even before, it, if, you know, just for filming they took the sign out there, the coffee sign, but it's the same frame of the sign work, and here's Walter White walking out, kind of in the same spot as where I just was, just to give some perspective. And there's that mural over there, the same mural. And they even had kind of a, a low angle here where it fell out of the window. That unit fell out of the window. And I think maybe the extras that were here caught them by surprise because they were like, whoa, there's this heavy object that could like crush, crush us. One of the extras just moved out just in time. But it appears to be, you know, that was the inner portion is that they removed that, but that's the same framework of that. You think Tuco's friends are all, all of a sudden that up, upstairs there still? Could be some remnants. Could be some remnants up Stuck there. On the walls, maybe. Or... Pretty wild. Where how many people? How many people a day come by here? You think? Looking at Breaking Bad stuff. If you had to guess. Thirty-nine. 39? <laughs> now, you know, maybe. Well, we're, so we're 40, 41, 42 yeah. for the day? Well, I don't know if they've already been here. Be like Throughout the court, it's still pretty early. We're probably seven. And real quick, like getting one last look here at the side of the painting on the side. Also went indoors and they do have, they do acknowledge and embrace the show itself. They have a t-shirt. They have a t-shirt you could purchase. I didn't purchase it, but. Yeah, they do embrace it, which is very nice. Now to the corner of 2nd and Hazeldine. Interesting thing about this is this corner was mentioned by the actor in the scene. Which you don't usually get, and it is the real coordinates in real life as what was mentioned in that episode. Two pivotal moments right here on this corner. As a dog is barking down this road. Now this building here can be seen prominently, and as I shift this way, you will notice there is kind of a skyscraper over there that can be seen. At the end of the episode, I don't want to give too many spoilers, but Walt startles everyone by driving his car over to this diamond. I don't want to call it a square because in the show it was like more like a diamond shape, this corner here. And earlier, earlier on before Walt appears and stunned everyone, including myself, very well written, where he appears out of nowhere. Jesse ends up going to get retribution on two guys that had a youth 
on a bicycle, eliminate one of Jesse's friends who always was on this corner taking care of business. This still looks the same. However, they are doing some construction, so all this is gonna change over time. This building can be seen prominently over the shoulders of the actors. Now over here where my sister is walking across is where, where Jesse's friend laid right there in the road. To me, this is really fascinating. Here was like an elevated curb that you could see, you know, kind of how where the elevated curb was is gone or kind of indented down. But the angle, which I'll show momentarily, was just about like that, where the bicycle was kind of like right over in that area as well. A bunch of random dogs running around. No way. Take a look at that. There's the RV. Hello, random dogs. Right there. That's the tour. You'll see they don't get out. I'm gonna wave. Have you seen Heisenberg? I haven't seen Heisenberg. This is why I like to do to do do my own. That's that's pretty awesome. Look at that. That's awesome. But yeah, right here. Where the bicycle was. That pivotal moment. A couple pivotal moments. Car drives through. Now it's been a while since I've seen it, so I, can't, I don't know the exact spot of where Walt takes care of everything. It was right in here. Jesse walking across. You see both these buildings. Jesse coming right across here. Man, so intense. Okay, here's a little photo identification of, of what it looked like there. There's the, the curb I was talking about and there's him laying over there in the road. And there's the bicycle. And you see these power lines, or this power, these power poles over here and this, these electrical wires. Those are still there too. And there are those electrical poles, the power poles, right over there. Also, I'm in the back seat because I couldn't take my car because it's full of stuff. Now made it over to the Crossroads Motel. See the signage right there, kind of being obscured by the sun. This is where Wendy was conducting her business. Know if this place is even still open or not I've seen many many times there's a gentleman coming out here in his truck i don't know if anyone's staying here you is think this place you think this place is open I, this lady's leaving she might have just got off work i couldn't tell if it was a lady or a gentleman walking out oh. i was tough, too far away you gotta say something? Oh, he's a lady. Hey. Jesse Jesse's gone? Dang. Okay. It was a gentleman. He said Jesse left the building. One thing that's fascinating is up here, this is the same signage here. Obviously, the lettering has changed. Okay, I'm gonna take that as there's no one, there's no one staying here. There's a bicycle. But he, but he locked up the door cool. when he left. This is the same sign here. And there's like a time lapse of Wendy over here on this corner, right here, where all the cars are pulling up. They're frequenting, you know, to say hi to her and whatnot. Take that as you will. But the angle here says no vacancy. And the pool was also used. Okay. The pool, is the pool still over there? Yeah. There's someone in there. There's someone in the pool? 
Oh, it says pool is closed. Pool is closed lounge area. Yeah, there was a scene here with Wendy and another patron, I believe, I think threw an article of clothing in the pool. This is awesome. What's that? I have to stay in the parking oh, lot. Oh, stay in the stay in the parking lot. Okay. Stay in the parking lot. I didn't realize there was anyone here. What room were they in? Wonder how much a room would be. I should ask for how much. No, I'm gonna probably say that the room was probably a set that they built. Like the interiors is probably a set. But there might have been a moment. I can't recall. It's been a while since I watched. When was the last time you watched the whole the whole series? It's about ten years. Ten years. Yeah, it's been a while. It's not fresh in my head, which I didn't think there was anybody in there. I saw, I saw it. I saw it. Still there. Watching the She said just stay in the parking lot. So we can stay in the parking lot. Now I was doing a little bit of crick quick. What did I say? Crick? Did I say crick? Got a crick in your A little quick. Looking up at the hotel floor. Quick research. A couple years ago, there used to be a big sign here that stated any photograph of this place needed to go up to the front office and give money. That has since changed. They no longer charge for photographs. But if you visit here, don't go near the pool area, just stay in the parking lot as as the owner says. There's no one staying here. I have to see that. You can rent a room. And here is a screen grab as well of Wendy standing in front of that spot. And you can see all the signage and everything still looks the same. There's more cars in the parking lot. There's two cars from the show than there are current day. And as we're on the we're on the trek to the next spot, take a look at that mural. Nice. Now arrived at the corner of Terrace and Lead, where Jesse, when he got kicked out of his house, oh nice. All right, the, so this is just this is candy, right? Well, it depends on I guess it depends on which way you look at the candy, but <laughs> the neighbor just came out and yelled at us. He fooled us, so we weren't allowed to film here. But then he said, no, you come up on the porch and take pictures, so. There, and he, he tossed this to you, so there you go, have a little this delicious treat. Maybe that for later. <laughs> <laughs> you got a lot of so right here is where Jesse met Jane. He rented this duplex when he got kicked out of his house before, later on, he ended up purchasing the house, one of the first spots we went to earlier. And this is available for rent. Maybe not the one that the neighbor just walked out, very kind, threw the bag over to, but maybe the ones either next door or maybe the one next to his that would have been would have been Jane's apartment because Jane's I think was over here on the left and Jesse's was over here I'm just going off of memory do you recall I don't remember now, there is some behind the scenes photos and videos which is pretty cool of them like kind of right over here I think the address was 325 in the show it's 323 in real life like I said he did come out and said we could go up on the porch she was sitting right here where she was she was like drawing like her drawings and Jesse was very like infatuated with her drawings and they eventually fell in love right in here. Very tragic end. Very tragic. Very tragic. Around the back is where Walt kicked in the door. It was around the back, back there as well. Here's a good little photo here of both of them next to the 325. You can see Jane sitting right there on that ledge, still painted blue to this day. Right over here. So she was over here on the, the left side and he was over on the, the right door. I think if he if he pops back out, I think I want to ask if, if there's a way we could walk around and look at the back. I don't know if he'd be cool with that or not, but if he does cut, I want to knock on the door and ask. But around the back was where they were both smoking cigarettes around the back too. When, when Pinkman and Jane. Yeah, if you go around the back, around there. Like I said, I don't want to go, go on the property. I think that was very nice. I think he wouldn't mind, but... Maybe if we walk around the, the public sidewalk around the other side, we could, we could see it. Oh, okay, so it is around the back here, the back side. Yeah, take a look, right through there. So that's the, the this, this door here is where, that's where she was. And then the far door was Jesse's apartment. And that was where Walt climbed up and kicked in the door and knocked very hard because he's the one who knocks. Is this 25 right here? <laughs> this is 1925. What was the address around the front? 23, I think. 23, okay. 
So, 1925, the other one was 1923? I think so. I thought it was 25 and No, it was four, four something. I'm confused. No, 325. I just, I just re-looked uh, at the photo. Okay, so this is a different address, but this is around the back, and that is, right through there, is that door. I see the place is still haunted. Man, that is so, what is it? It's still haunted. Oh, they right got there. the Halloween decor. Yeah. Even though it's already into December. That is so awesome. Look at that. That's the door right there. That Walt kicked in. And there he is. Foot against the door, kicking the door in, knocking the door, kicking the door. He is the one who knocks. I'm just going to run that, run that into the ground. All right, let's recreate something. So you sit on that little stoop there, right there. And then you kind of get looking over her shoulder like you're admiring her artwork. Pretend like you have a pad of paper. There you go. You're recreating it. Am I looking at you? Right now you are. I meant to recreate <laughs> it. And one last big thank you to the property, either the owner or the renter of the one there where Jesse's was for being very kind. Let us go up on the porch and giving a little gift. Some people embrace it and some don't. I think about the course of the day, it's kind of going to go back and forth on some that are just sick of it and some that really love those that pass by. And this, this guy was nice. Where the speed limit is 40 miles per hour. Right now a uniform, I don't know how to point that out. Delta uniform and linen. And one of their trucks is now pulling out of the parking lot. This is where some of the cooking took place as well. Now I'm not gonna be able to go past the sign. It says stop authorized personnel only. Visitors must check in at the office, but up to the sign, get to here. This was used many times when this gate opened and just used as an exterior. In fact, this little kind of circular archway looking. Angel just said we could go all the way back in and just tell him the lady driving the truck. Oh, Angel? Angel said, tell him Angel said it was okay. I'm oh, no kidding. Okay, I'm glad you heard that. I, I was... I just talked to her. So Angel said we could go all the way in. She said, just go on in if they ask you. Okay. Tell him Angel said it was okay. All right, so this is the fictional entrance and it is a laundry facility. Hey, Angel just said we could walk back in here. She was in the... the, the, the uh, I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks, man. Everyone's <laughs> messing with us today. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Everyone is so nice. The gentleman in the truck said, who the F is Angel? <laughs> Got and then he laughed. And then he you laughed. So right over here, now see I'm going, I'm drawing a blank because it's been a while, but I believe this was the bay door. Now, I'm just saying this, I don't really 100% know. I probably should have researched this a little bit more. I think this was the bay door. This was the bay door. They went down to the fictional, well, not fictional, the real place where they were cooking in the basement that was used, it was a set that was built, but it is a real laundry facility. And take a look at this, wow. This almost looks like the same kind of item where the they lifted this up, you know, obviously it would have been in the bay door and went down into the basement. Wow. This is pretty wild. It's really nice that they let us go past there. Angel and the other guy that said he didn't know who Angel was and then gave a little chuckle. And I know it was on a set, but in my mind, it would be down in the basement of this very building. One of my favorite episode endings when Gale meets his demise Heisenberg is crying. Mike is going to eliminate Heisenberg. And then he gets on the phone, calls Jesse. Pretty dramatic. Remember that scene? It was very dramatic. We went over it last night. We we perused over that particular it episode. Made you feel bad for Gail. Really bad for Gail him. didn't even know who Jesse was when he showed up to his no, house. He's just like, take whatever you want. And, and, and it all stemmed in here. The phone call on those flip phones. They didn't have smartphones. They didn't have smartphones like this. They had flip phones. And Walt's on there calling Jesse. I think he said something like, you're five minutes ahead of them. I'm paraphrasing, I'm paraphrasing. Jesse goes. I think he hangs up. And Moving. You gotta, if you haven't seen that, that, that's one of my favorite, one of my favorite episodes. That in the one when, when Heisenberg out of nowhere just drives into that little town square, that little, little corner where I just was. It flipped. What the, what's it called? You know, the guy's flip. Oh, he flips over the car. Is that Heisenberg's car? 
No, it's not. After a short commute, I don't know, probably four or five miles, give or take, made it over to this shopping center here where Saul Goodman's office was. And it was located in this corner right over next to this dance hall called the Dirty Bourbon. And you can see on the roof there is a windmill and adjacent to the windmill in the show, kind of above the signage there in this corner is where the huge inflatable, what was the inflatable? It was like Statue a statue of liberty. It was the Statue of Liberty. It was up on that very corner. It looks a lot different. Now it was not, it was not the dance hall saloon. It was the one next to it. So it would have been right here, which looks to be empty and closed down. Whatever was here is abandoned. But going off of how I remember, I think this was it. I think this was Saul Goodman's office right here. Through that door? I'm gonna have to look at a, a screen capture just to figure it out. It's all been remodeled. Looks nothing like it did. No. Looks considerably different. Yep. Saul Goodman. Saul Goodman. Do you know, a trivia question, do you know Saul Goodman's real name? Jimmy Miguel. Nailed it. Bob Odenkirk? That would also be an acceptable answer. That's the actor's name. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. That would be the actor's name. So right up there, right up here, would have been that inflatable. Pretty dang cool. Let's see if I can pull up a screen capture. Okay, it's not as remodeled as I had guessed it was. It actually kind of looks pretty similar. Got the inflatable up top, but notice the amount of windows down here. There are five windows and one door. So if you count the windows and the bars there, you got the door, then you got five different slots of windows. As I kind of let it focus. So you got the door here going into his office, and then you got one, two, three, four, five, and then that, that pillar. So yeah, it's the same windows, or at least the same structure of the windows. And where Walt and Jesse pulled up would have been in the spot there, kind of where that red car is more or less, and Jesse, I'm gonna paraphrase, but Jesse basically told Walt, if you are looking for a criminal lawyer, you want a lawyer that's a criminal. Something, something about, something like that. It's all good, man. Also, these rocks are still here, and this hedge, which is kinda, doesn't look as appealing as it did on film, is still there. Yeah, these rocks and the red car this random red car is in the same spot as the red car in the scene. Looking from that angle, I'll show the I'll, go, I'll show the screen grab of what I'm referring to. But they're right here. Walt's getting ready to meet Saul Goodman. And there's those rocks. And there's that little shrub hedge. Right there next to the curve. Same rocks, red car, and the inflatable. Better call Saul. Sign up above the roof or towards the roof. And it's located tucked away over there in the corner. Next up will be Walter White's house, which should be interesting. I've heard the, the owner does not appreciate people coming by. I'm gonna stay on the street and the sidewalk, but it should be an experience. They do not want you parking in front of the home, and they have expressed that through the cones that are out front. So up here just on the side, coming in from a different angle. There it is, they have the Christmas decorations out. Got the Frosty the Snowman. Oh, it says sidewalk is closed. How can the sidewalk be closed? It says, take your pictures across the street. Do not disturb. Okay, we're not gonna disturb them. Now I've heard that back in the day, people would come by, you know, those that wanted to see the house and they would throw pizzas up on the roof of the garage, just like Walt did in a fit of anger. Not gonna do that. I wonder how many people a day come by here. Why, well, just think of all the different moments 
Are you thinking of all the different moments that happened right in front of this place? Yeah. The pizza. The pizza, right? Very hungry. I was thinking they're doing a pretty good job of camouflage with all the Christmas yeah. ornaments. Yeah. Good. So it says, now I'm, it's interested, how does a, how does a homeowner close off a public sidewalk or a public street? I'm not sure, I'm not a homeowner, so I don't really know. I've always rented. Now around the back is where the pool is. I don't know if everyone's, anyone's ever been back in the backyard to document the pool before. But there were so many moments right here where Walt pushes the other car out and Skyler's out here yelling and screaming takes off that way. The car's left here in the middle of the road. A lot of moments down here where the cars are parked over here and they're kind of like looking at the house from a distance. Well, we've been standing out here a few minutes and no one else has driven by. Garage doors open. Chairs out there. That is cool. The Breaking Bad house. Kind of in the mood for some pizza. <laughs> Maybe later. Okay, we got our photos. You want to get a photo? Uh, yeah. Right, we're going to get some photos. There we go. Well, I guess technically it's a it's a video. Like you just. <laughs> here we go. Are we in there? We did it. Here we are. You could just take a you could take a cut of this for a, as a photo. Okay, I will. One last look as we leave this neighborhood. man. Special delivery for Walter White. Oh, what a coincidence. <laughs> the RV's back now in front of what was the A1A car wash here also in Albuquerque. It's now called the Mr. Car Wash. Pretty good view here of the, the mountains off in the distance. So I guess the RV does stop at a couple spots, a couple places. Yo, bitch! What's up? Yo, what's up, bitch? <laughs> Jesse? Yeah, what's up, science? It's like science and stuff makes it do that. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys going in there? Can you go yeah, in? We let them go inside. Okay, cool. We let them go inside. So this is your tour? Yeah, yeah. Okay, excellent. I went by the earlier, I was I hoping. You at Combo's Corner. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> cool. Yeah. Okay. You guys, uh, what, what locations have you been to? We just went to the house. Did you take it by the house? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We go by there. And uh, what else did we go to? Uh, There's we Taco Cell across the street. The lawyer Saul's. Yeah. We went to Saul Goodman's. We to a few spots. Yeah. Uh, then look across the street. That's Taco Cell. Oh, right over there. Filmed the scene where Jesse said it's like science and stuff. Oh, okay, that's nice. Where they filmed it right there. Yeah, there's like hundreds of spots. Oh yeah, hundreds. hundreds. Have you been to the store downtown? Not yet. Not yet. It's We're gonna in, go there. Um, it's in, uh, oh, we went by the duplex also, where Jane's Jane's oh, was. Jane's? Yeah. yeah. The yeah. neighbor's very nice there. Oh yeah. 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 Cool. Oh, did they flip you off? No, no. He actually gave us. He gave yeah, us a little. Oh, he gave us a little oh, yeah, treat. He's cool, but there was some a couple guys sitting on the on there a couple weeks ago. I don't think they're neighbors, but they were just sitting there. Uh, some people. Some they're people they're are kind. Good. Some people aren't. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're gonna go in and look at the stuff. Yeah. Good to talk to you. Thank you. Come on over, we're gonna take a picture. Come on over. That's cool. Yeah, maybe I'll do this one of these days. So they do stop at a couple spots. Got a nice little little grouping of people here. And this was called the A1A car wash. And they film quite a bit of it inside of here. And from what I have read, they embrace it very heavily. They embrace it fully. Let's see if that's still the case.
the car wash. How awesome. There it is, all hail the king. It's got Cranston signed right up here. Nice. Everybody signed it? Yeah, it looks like a lot of the cast signed it. You got Brian Cranston up top. That's Chisney. Wow, yeah, so all right in here. They did a lot in here. Countless scenes took place. And yes, they do have a vending machine in here. Themed around items from the show, t-shirts, etc. Why not? You can get some, some stuff for your torso with different names from the series. The Heisenberg items. What would Jesse do? As well as some vinyl stickers. Even some better call saw stuff. Right here in the vending. Yeah, they have a vending machine. So they fully embrace this. Completely. Which is awesome. I love when places fully embrace the cinematic history. And it is a real car wash. Real cars go through here. Multiple cars daily go through here. This is something else, really. It really is. Now this is kind of looking the opposite way. So the camera would be all the way at the other end of the hallway. So where Walt's about to walk through this door, you'll notice the glass. So I'm kind of standing on the opposite side of the glass where the other extras there are. But the tile on the ground, it's the same tile work through here, as you can see there. I mean, obviously it hasn't been that long ago, what, 12 years, a decade, give or take, through here. But yeah, the, the counter would have been all the way at that end, and Walt would have exited out this way. And here is a photo of the cast. It's also here in the hallway. Oh, and there's Aaron Paul right there. And then, of course, if you want to, you can say his name. Say his name. If you feel like few miles up into the mountains at the end of this cul-de-sac is Hank's house located right over here and you can see kind of go up and around and the, almost one of the last houses here in the cul-de-sac now one of the scenes I really like as well is where Walt is talking to him in the garage and Walt says that he needs to tread lightly Hank says I don't even know who I'm talking to. I'm not going to go past this point, obviously, but let me zoom in. That's the very garage, and I am just going to assume and state that I believe that the interiors of that moment were inside that very garage because the camera is facing outward. towards where I am so the camera's facing out and you see the road and then the door closes and they have their little very heated discussion confrontation right inside there and there's lots of moments here cars pulling in and out of there and and whatnot but a very fancy house it's kind of silhouetted out by the sun a little bit with the shade but this is it this is Hank's house very nice neighborhood and very noticeable with the little circular room over there to the side Tread lightly. You always want to tread lightly with Walt. You never know what he's going to do. All right, one last spot. Saving the best for last. Probably the most notable for last. in all its glory. Real life twisters, but fictionally Los Pollos Hermanos is a cover up 
the chicken restaurant for Gus Fring. I've been here before, it's been quite a few years. I haven't been to a lot of the spots that I showed today. This is the first really, I don't want to call it in-depth episode, but very detailed episode. But I have eaten at this Twister's before when passing through Albuquerque. I had to save this one for last. As stated, I didn't hit every single spot. There's probably at least 100 spots. I would say probably Walt's house and this one, and the car wash are probably the three most visited. This probably the most out of all of them. They embrace it pretty heavily as well. Used in many, many episodes. Characters walking in and out of both doors. Twisters. Is this the what? Oh. Look at that. Sweet and spicy. That's something that, that Gus would probably devour. Possibly. The booth that was used is this booth right over here. I'll go in and look at it. But this is the booth. The famous booth right down in there. No one's sitting in it. But that is the booth. And still have the painting here on the side of the wall. The two chickens. And this is it. Inside. Look at this. Yeah. Oh, look. This is so good. Look at this. You could be Walt and Jesse right here. You can be Walt and Jesse. Well, let me put this. Hold on. Let me set this. Are you going to get in there? Here, you, you hold this. I'll get in there. Hold that. I'll get in there. Okay, it looks like I'm Walt. Looks like I'm Walt. We got to cook up a batch. <laughs> this is pretty dang awesome. I didn't know you were going to say that. This is pretty dang awesome. This is the booth right here. This is the booth that we're sitting in. Now, since the last time I was in here, it looks like they have embraced the series even more over here in this corner. Check it out. What the heck? Look at this. What is going on with this right here? Okay, they're also promoting the RV tour there as well. Yeah, this is pretty awesome. The Cranston assigned that as well. Hey, how are you? Oh, there's the, the writer, Vince Gilligan. I believe his last his name is. Oh, here, look. Here's Hank signing some stuff. Wow. But this was not... Okay, okay, people can sign this, but then I guess this floor's kind of sticky. Floor's kind of sticky through here. It says, thank you, Vince. Your friends from Twisters. Heisenberg. I think that's Odenkirk's signature. Right there. Oh, and here's a bunch of other other signatures that people have like oh, wow. a lot. Nope. It's, it's all coming apart. apart there. Here, I'll fix it for you. Okay, we're gonna order. We're gonna order some food in here. How many people a day come in here for Breaking Bad? A lot. A lot? Like more than a hundred a day? Probably. And then there's a tour, so about like 25 people every day. 25 people every day. Just for the tour. But a lot. I'm you, a lot. We've gone ahead and ordered, and we are going to sit in the real booth. Ended up getting an assortment of things. Got some tacos as well as some sides and some enchiladas as well. Food was pretty good here at Twister's. It def definitely was pretty neat to sit in the same booth and to wander around inside a piece of television history as well. Pretty dang cool. That's gonna, that's gonna conclude my day this episode as I went around to the Breaking Bad filming locations. And if I missed anything, which I did, as stated, there are there is a plethora of spots that you could go to on your own accord. Plenty of information out there. It just means that one day I'll have to return and possibly do El Camino, the sequel to Breaking Bad, or Better Call Saul, which I like a lot, which I heard is filming currently in the area. Couldn't find any information on where exactly the schedule for filming would take place, but that'd be pretty neat to see Odenkirk and the rest of the cast. That is the prequel. Maybe one day I'll have to return to cover those in not great detail, but moderate detail. I guess you could classify this under a moderately detailed 
filming location. A little different. Didn't have the screen captures. Didn't have the grabs. Didn't have my clipboard and all that. But still a fun day. Hang out with my sister. Special thanks to her for driving me around to all the spots. I wouldn't be able to do it in my own car simply because my car is loaded because I'm moving from California to Florida. I think that's it. We did it. Really cool. Did you see Gus walk by? I did not see Gus. You didn't see Gus go by? I thought Gus was dead. I didn't see him at all. Don't ask me that again. It depends what it de that again. It depends on which. You gave too many spoilers. Oh. You gave too many spoilers. Oh. And it also depends on what season you watch. Whether he's still he's still kicking like the chicken that he sells. They're not kicking. And that's gonna do it for today. Wait a second. Wait a second. Heisenberg? <laughs> Could be. The vlog is over. I said his name like he wanted me to. Say my name. You know who I am. I don't know who you are. Say my name. Heisenberg. I'm not going to finish the line.